right, we're heading over to Casey's Parents Garden Center. We got some soil to grab, pansies. Yep, so we're gonna take a ride over there and uh, you guys will be able to see a little bit more than just the garden space today. Still quite a few to choose from back here. Yeah. I always love the uh, frizzle sizzle pansies because they have more of like a little ruffled flower. They're so pretty. And look at that gorgeous blue. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing I saw, Bobby. Is it? Yeah. I really love these. These are little violas. Oh, look at yeah, those, those mommy. Cool. Violas tend to last longer than pansies. Sayla, is that too heavy? No. Nope. Okay, she said no, hon. She said okay. no. <laughs> Just don't drop them, okay? What happened? You can put it on this wagon here if you want. Look at, okay. <laughs> Mommy, look at these. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're like a lavender. Lavender. Those are gorgeous. Mm-hmm. I'm always a sucker for blue. Aren't you, Lana? I'll hold them. You gonna hold them? There you go. Let Lana try. There you go. All right. They're not heavy. Nope. Put it on the nope. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Put it on the wagon. <laughs> oh, they're going purple because of the middle. Let me see them. Ooh, those uh -huh. are pretty. What? Those are pretty. What color? Oh, well, Sayla found something cool over there. Sayla found a color she likes too. Oh yeah, Sayla. Oh, that's that so is pretty. pretty cool. Very, very Ooh, look pretty. at this Ooh, one. Pretty, mm -hmm. This one. Yeah. A disco flower. Oh, very pretty. Looks like we tend to go with more of like the darker blue colors and black, and but I do like the pops of orange in there too. It's yeah. So pretty. Yeah, blue and orange always look great together. I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Got our little pansy. Yep. <laughs> and look at mine. Isn't it so pretty, guys? Sure is. And there's the disco flower. Oh, yeah. More cherry tomatoes. Mmm. My favorite. Well, the pansies made it to their new home. We are actually going to bring the table back in here and remove the sitting area because the table is at a perfect height for potting up plants and it's that time of year. It's time to start the container gardening, you guys. Get things rolling yep. and started. Look at that bobblehead. Yep. Look at that bobble, a uh, Jason bobble we need. <laughs> Anybody interested? Sayla, <laughs> it's dangerous up there. We take the batteries off to protect the plants from mealybugs. Sayla's pretending like she's spraying the plants. And we got the table moved back in here. This will work really nice so that way I can stand on the other side and give lessons. So Casey had an idea for a little DIY planter. So I'm gonna take this birch log that we got. This is from a tree that was cut up by a family friend. I'm gonna carve out the middle of it and then we can plant some stuff in it. Kind of have it sit somewhere on a table or a surface. I think it'll look pretty cool. All right, so now that I got the initial kind of outline in, I'm gonna try and cut it in a little bit deeper. And then I've got uh, an arraignment of different tools over here I can use to try and bust the plug out. Well, so much for uh, for that. I broke the uh, the handle off here, and I'm gonna have to uh, try and get it out of there and find another tool to use. Oh, 
Okay, well, this is definitely a lot harder than, than I thought it would be, but you can see I am making some progress. I'm just kind of chiseling out chunk by chunk with, uh, you know, hammer, kind of big chisel here. I'm getting in there piece by piece, but man, this is, this is hard. Okay, there we go. I almost split it. I got about four inches down, maybe three and a half. Uh, this would look really cool. And this, this right here, I'll kind of nail back on. Um, but this would look really cool as a succulent planter, maybe having the greens against the white. I'm gonna tap a little nail through that bark into the rest of the log to kind of refasten that. All right, and there we go. So it's all ready to be planted up. The, uh, the last thing that I'm gonna do so that it's a true planter, I will drill some holes on the bottom of this so that, so that water can drain out and it's a real planter, but um, I can't wait to, uh, to show this all planted up. We'll check back on this throughout the summer. I'm really proud of myself here. I even got my shoes and flowers. And I'm gonna do the bottom flip with my shoes and now it's called the shoe flip. The shoe flip. Instead of the bottom flip. <laughs> kind of just like how you kick them off when you come in the door all the time, huh? Let's go check on our wood chuck. How's my woodchuck doing? Oh, well, that's the hardest work I've done all year so far. <laughs> oh wow, Han. Check that out. That looks awesome. That's amazing. Definitely Pretty have cool, to wear huh? gloves to plant that though. Yeah. <laughs> Don't yep. want any slivers. Yeah. Wow, that is awesome. <laughs> that actually looks really cool just right there. <laughs> We could do the succulents in there and then pansies here. I think I want to bring that into the house. The only thing left for Jason to do in here before I can plant it up are two drainage holes. But if we do succulents, we really don't need drainage holes. We'll just go super, super light on the water. Really awesome to see an idea come to life. So it was my idea, Jason's hard work and muscles and together, it looks awesome. Yep. But I'm gonna save the planting of this DIY container for another video. The girls picked out some old shoes that don't fit them anymore. And we are going to plant... Pithophia. <laughs> pansies! Oh, so close. So pansies are a spring pansies, flower. Pansies, just said pansies. No, we're gonna plant pansies. Pansies are a really hardy spring flower along with violas, that's what we actually have more of. And what I love about violas, the smaller flower, is that they tend to hold up a lot longer than pansies once the weather gets just a little bit warmer. Now let's just pick out our pansies that you wanna use, or violas. Okay, all righty, there you go. this one. Okay. So what size holes should we do for the bottom? Two of these would be fine. Okay. So Jason's gonna drill holes in the bottom so there's some type of a drainage for once we plant them and water them. There you go. Be careful not to go all the way through this shoe. Daddy! Uh-oh. How did that happen? <laughs> How would a shoe do that? I don't Is know. Is it hot? <laughs> no. What is that? How did that even happen? Yeah, I don't know. Check That's... the bottom of the shoe. I mean, is there like metal in the shoe? It's a tough shoe. I always love violas the best. They have the smaller flower, but they produce so many flowers on one plant. And the girls really love the different um, colors and the mixture of colors in this combination. Look what one is. They're so pretty. Look how pretty. It's one the same. It's one of the same. Yep. Yeah. Oh, their favorite part. I don't want to get Here. this messy. I got so in there. weird. It almost so feels cool. unnatural. I know. So cool. <laughs> it does. Usually so you're. Stay 
trying to get dirt out of the shoe. Yeah. And once it's super hot in the summertime, we can always plant something else in them. Then. Yeah. It'll just be fun for them to keep updating their little shoes yeah. throughout the season. Nope. These are the shoes that they both are having a hard time parting with because they're so sparkly. <laughs> so it's a great way for them themselves to reuse them and not have to see them leave. Right. So. Still needs a little more. Still needs a little more. <laughs> Which one do you like the most? These two. And now we'll also break up the red just a little bit. Go like this with your finger on the bottom. Mom, I got it. Okay, there you go. Is it perfect? That is perfect, Selah. Good job. Yeah. Let's take some out and then we'll stuff it in there. There. Okay, go ahead. Let's see. How far can you get that down in there? Okay, now put some dirt around it. That yeah, looks pretty one. cool. See, which one do you want to plant in your shoes? Um, in? This one. one. Yeah. We gotta tell those roots, you got more room to grow, right? Okay. You got more um, roots to go. Good job, Lana. Yeah. What do we tell that root? You got more wood to grow. Yep. Good job. Okay, let's put soil around it. You mean dirt? They really catch on, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, but look at how relaxed they are. There's a truth to gardening being a type of therapy. What do you think of your new little containers? Look at the, this maybe relax them a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do this right before bed. Yeah. <laughs> Fuzzy, did that relax you too? Look at his tires. Look at 